and say that um, is there goodwill? Again, I am reluctant to blame any particular person without evidence. But let me put it this way, that the Al-Shabaab and other terrorists cannot succeed unless they are aided and abetted by some of us, members of our society, who give them food, intelligence, and other local information. That is the truth. Let's, let's be honest with each other. And it doesn't have to be a politician or a, a, a chief. Even local communities, our own brothers and sisters, our intelligence is showing that in some of the attacks, when we do investigations, we find that the attackers could have accessed the village or the target two, three days before, and there were people, citizens of Kenya, who were supplying them with food, for example. Kenyans, for money, they get a little uh, amount of money from these fellows, and they give information. So we have a lot of work to do without blaming each other because the greed, the culture of greed for money is not just a problem with us who are in high office. Even our brothers and sisters in the villages suffer the same culture. You get 100,000 and you sell information that leads to a successful terror attack. So we must work together with elected leaders, government officials, communities, and own up to our own national problem of greed, which has assisted some of these terrorists to succeed in the attacks.